Hello and welcome to the inaugural episode of a new 3D printing series called Thing Explore. Named so because I will be exploring the Thingiverse for the best and most creative designs out there and be showing them off here every Tuesday. Get it? Thingiverse? Explore? Thing Explore? Anybody? No? Oh, go away. It's, I think it's a great name. Anyway, I wanted to do something special for the first episode, so I managed to find a 3D printed version of Darth Vader's lightsaber with a full interior. Let's print that. All of the orientations, I say, are relative to the default that the part is in when you put it into Makeaware. Now, body one, I printed with supports on accident. They are probably not needed though, just looking at it. I also printed it upside down. For body two, I left the supports on on accident, but I can tell you it doesn't need it just by looking at it. Body three, you definitely need supports. For cap, just print it upside down. I have no clue why it's in this orientation. You don't need any supports if it's upside down. Crystal chamber, print it upside down with supports. For the crystal, my printer had trouble with the small base, so I had to print it with rafts and supports, and then I had to rotate the crystal onto its side and lay it flat in order to get it to work. Beam chamber definitely needs supports. Beam chamber end, print it upside down, no supports. Now according to the guy who designed this lightsaber, you should print the supports on the 10 degree setting. Now the inside of the lightsaber, does have another little gray cap that goes on top of it. It's not right there, the picture. Uh, but mine, I think I kind of did something wrong when I tried to put it in. Uh, if I can get the right piece. Uh, because it's stuck in there. I don't know why. It's designed to snap together and I just think it was a bit too tight for me. Uh, but still, it's a very nice print. I can't really show this off on camera but when you are holding it with the interior, it does have like a nice weight to it. It feels like a lightsaber should, it's just a little bit light because the plastic is hollow. Uh, I can tell you though that this is going to make for a very cool project sometime in the near future. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider liking, favoriting, and sharing it. Subscribe so you can catch all the amazing robotics, electronics, and 3D printing projects I have planned. Thanks for watching.